Most electric cars run on lithium-ion batteries, which are rapidly approaching their theoretical limit on energy density, said study co-author Yi Kui, professor of materials science and engineering and of photon science at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory. Our study focused on lithium metal batteries, which are lighter than lithium-ion batteries and can potentially deliver more energy per unit weight and volume. Lithium-ion batteries, used in everything from smartphones to electric cars, have two electrodes, a positively charged cathode contain. An electrolyte solution allows lithium ions to shuttle back and forth between the anode and the cathode when the battery is used and when it recharges. A lithium metal battery can hold about twice as much electricity per kilogram as today's conventional lithium-ion battery. Lithium metal batteries do this by replacing the graphite anode with lithium metal, which can store significantly more energy. Lithium metal batteries are very promising for electric vehicles, where weight and volume are a big concern, said study co-author Zhenan Bao, the KK. This causes the growth of lithium microstructures called dendrites on the surface of the anode, which can cause the battery to catch fire and fail. Researchers have spent decades trying to address the dendrite problem. Advertisement The electrolyte has been the Achilles heel of lithium metal batteries, said co-lead author Xiao Yu, a graduate student in chemistry. In our study, we use organic chemistry to rationally design and create new, stable electrolytes for these batteries. For the study, Yu and his colleagues explored whether they could address the stability issues with a common, commercially available liquid electrolyte. We used its ability to attract electrons to create a new molecule that allows the lithium metal anode to function well in the electrolyte. The result was a novel synthetic compound, abbreviated FDMB, that can be readily produced in bulk. Electrolyte designs are getting very exotic, Bao said. Some have shown good promise but are very expensive to produce. Advertisement The results were dramatic. The experimental battery retained 90% of its initial charge after 420 cycles of charging and discharging. In laboratories, typical lithium metal batteries stop working after about 30 cycles. The researchers also measured how efficiently lithium ions are transferred between the anode and the cathode during charging and discharging, a property known as Coulombic efficiency. If you charge 1,000 lithium ions, how many do you get back after you discharge? Kui said. Ideally you want 1,000 out of 1,000 for a Coulombic efficiency of 100%. To be commercially viable, a battery cell needs a Coulombic efficiency of at least 99.9%. Thanks for watching. Do you like my video? Then show me your love by pressing like button. Please subscribe my channel and hit bell icon for new technology updates. Bye bye.